Now we've seen the different combinations of price and fried chicken pieces in our schedule. What we now want to do is to demonstrate those combinations using a diagram. When we draw a diagram, there are certain steps that we follow. And you must be careful following those steps. It will ensure that diagrams becomes a piece of cake. Now, we start off with drawing the axis. Then we name the axis, price on the vertical axis and quantity on the horizontal axis. Next, we're going to use the values in the table and indicate it on the axis, on the price axis. Start of one, two, three, and so we carry on. Six and seven, and on the horizontal axis, we have the quantity values. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and lastly, we have fourteen. Now we need to indicate the combinations in the table on the diagram. If we take, for instance, a value of price value of 6, we can see at a price of 6, quantity demanded equals 4. So at this point, demonstrates the combination of 6 and 4. Similarly, at a price of 4, quantity demanded is 8. And we have another point. At a price of 2, quantity demanded is 12. If we link these points, we have a demand curve and we name it D V the demand curve. So, when we draw a diagram using the information in a table, we start off by drawing the axis, we name the axis, we indicate the values on the axis, and then we have the different combinations of price and quantity, and once we've derived those points, we link the points and that gives us the demand curve and we name the demand curve. Make sure that you follow these steps when you draw a, a demand curve.